Hello folks, welcome to a mm, somewhat sunny day here at Fleet HQ. Behind me, the Grey Goose, working away as always to haul stuff to our workshop. So, what have I got for you today is part two of our VCU version 2.2a firmware release boring video. In the first part, we bored you by looking at computer screen. Now I'm going to bore you by looking at the, the fleet. And the goose here, as you can see, has got a rack of steel on its roof rack. And that steel will be for making the bed for the truck. But we're not here to talk about things like that. That'll be for a forthcoming truck update day. Day truck. That's the truck, by the way. Uh, today we want to talk to you a little bit about various configurations in our fleet here and um, hopefully get across to you that there's quite a lot of things going on here um, that you might not see in the background when it comes to testing for release firmware. So for those of you that may not keep up with the old Joneses here, I currently have four vehicles uh, running and driving here that use the Zombieverter VCU. This is the Grey Goose, and the Grey Goose has within it a Gen 1 Nissan Leaf uh, inverter, EM61 Gen 1 mo motor, five speed, sorry, six speed manual gearbox, Mitsubishi Outlander charger, uh, Ampera, or not Ampera, um, it's an Ampera heater. Um, what's the other Opel Corsa type power steering pump thingy? Um, and also has in the back the BMW i3 limb for CCS fast charging. So we can do our flicky button and we can do CCS fast charging. Also has the Mitsubishi Outlander. Ooh, I'm staggering Maggie this morning. Also has the Mitsubishi Outlander onboard charger and DC to DC converter. So that's probably the most common vehicle that I drive um, around here. I use it as kind of a workhorse. And um, yeah, this, it's, this was the car that basically moved house for me. So we're gonna talk about the truck a little bit because the truck's kind of special truck um, is the latest test vehicle. It is running, driving, charging, doing all the things you would expect. It's actually starting heating now, but that won't be included in 2.2. That'll be coming up soon. Um, but the truck is the first vehicle that I've ever built uh, that uses a complete untouched OEM battery pack. In this case, the pack that we have here is from, I believe, a 2014 Nissan Leaf. It is the pack that has the um, extra high voltage connector there for doing the um, air conditioning or heating or whatever that they normally do. It is a 24 kilowatt hour pack and is now fully integrated. Its BMS and control is now fully integrated into the Zombieverter VCU. Now under the bonnet, we have a full, um, I believe these are called Gen 1.5 Nissan Leaf stack. Um, so EM57 motor down here, 110 kilowatt inverter and 6.6 .6 kilowatt PDM, which has the charger and the DC-DC converter. And that is now fully again integrated into the Zombieverter VCU with firmware revision 2.20a, which we're currently talking about. So what that means is that with this particular setup that we've in the truck now, you do not need a shunt or a BMW S box or VW box or any of that. You can now get, the VCU now gets all of its information uh, from the BMS, from the inverter, and from the PDM. Now, very soon, I will also be connecting the Focky CCS controller system in here to use the, uh, we're gonna hijack the 
Nissan Leaf, Chidemo contactors and voltage sensor board and all that good stuff in there. But that's not for this release, that'll be coming soon. Now the other two vehicles that we have here that are also running the Zombie Verter is our E31 8 Series Der Panzer and the E39 5 Series Land Yacht. Now the Land Yacht has the Lexus GS450H uh, gearbox and inverter drivetrain. It has the Tesla Model 3 PCS in there for charging and DC-DC converting and has a disassembled, um, again, Nissan Leaf Gen 1 uh, battery pack in there. A few other odds and ends. The Panzer has our Tex Texas, I was going to say Tesla, LDU um, drive unit uh, that has the open inverter control board in it. That's controlled via CAN, via the Zombie Verter VCU. Uh, we've also got our two BMW 12 kilowatt hour packs, Tesla Gen 2 DC-DC and Tesla Gen 2 Charger. So we've got currently a total of four vehicles running on the Zombie Verter that I use for software testing and development. The E46, E31 and E39 are running, driving, road legal. You can take them out on the road and go have some fun. Truck is running, driving, charging, doing all that good stuff, but not road legal yet. So I still have some more wiring, clean up, and all that kind of thing to do under the bonnet because it's a bit of a mess job. And of course, then I've all of these vehicles here waiting for me uh, to get working on them for um, future test vehicles and future projects. But last, but by no means, no man's means, least in the barn. And in the barn, of course, with the Red Arrow. And the Red Arrow is going to be the next vehicle, number five, that will be running on Zombie Verter VCU. And this car is particularly uh, going to be useful for us because this has the Lexus GS300 drivetrain. Uh, the MG version 2 charger with the V2L functionality and it will also be the first vehicle that I uh, build that will use one of the uh, PTC cabin heaters but you know obviously that's not covered in 2.2 but just wanted to give you you folks a little bit of a uh, hopefully a quick enough rundown on the vehicles that I'm testing with various configurations uh, that I've got and the ones that are again hopefully coming soon but soon with me can be something of a bit of a process. So folks I hope that um, gives you a little bit of a rundown on what we've got going on here with the fleet. Now up on the repo uh, I am putting the firmware files uh, so the parameter, sorry, the parameter files for all four vehicles and the LDU in the Panzer as well. So that should help people get a bit of a better idea uh, about the parameters that I'm running in these vehicles. Um, again, I want to take a moment to thank everyone that has been very supportive this year in particular with the VCU project. Um, a lot of people, they're just giving of their own time. Um, they, you, know, you know, they've got lives, they've got things to, to do. So I really appreciate that because it's helped to expand way beyond my stuff here, uh, what the VCU can now uh, support. And that was kind of my aim when I started this thing was to have a kind of a, kind of a universal uh, VCU that people could, you know, use and select their various needs and wants within it without having to, um, you know, without having to go buying specific boards for specific uh, tasks. And also it's a fully open source uh, project as well. Um, so in terms of that, folks, um, 
basically, I, I know it kind of goes without saying to a certain degree, but I know there's a lot of probably new viewers and that coming along to this that, you know, don't really um, know me from back in the day. But um, yeah, basically everything I get from selling boards and Patreon and all that support stuff, it basically goes into usually buying more cars and buying more components to hack and then putting those components in, through the ringer of reverse engineering, whether it's figuring out CAN messages or whether it's um, designing replacement control boards or whatever it may be. Um, that's kind of what I'm, that's kind of what I do. Uh, the aim of my game is not to be <laughs> famous or to have a lot of money or any of that stuff. I just want to pay my bills and reverse engineer stuff and build cars. So that's the short version or as short as you're going to find it on this stupid channel anyway. So I'll leave it there, folks. You will find link in the description to uh, part one where I run through the par parameters um, of the goose here on the bench. I was going to do all the cars, but it kind of gets stupid after a while. I'd be having four videos pretty much the same. So as I say, the parameter files are there on the GitHub repo now if you wish to see them. So, that's about it. As always, thumbs down dislike don't subscribe and for crying out loud don't support me with money and stuff because then i just say oh i've got money you know oh let's see if we can find another car so don't do that and until next time then happy car finding